are risks in any brain surgery, but you have to weigh that against the rewards. It could give you back your memory. Or it could kill you. Did Alan forget to mention that part? I didn't forget anything. Jason, you need to take that medication. It could be very effective, and it is far less risky. The medication won't give Jason back his life. The life you want him to have. Alan is pushing you to do this because he wants you to come out of it as Jason Quartermain. That's who he was. He is willing to risk your life for something that is not medically possible. The damage that was done to your brain ten years ago, there is no surgery in the world that can repair that. You can't know that. I'm giving Jason what he wants, a chance to remember. Jason, I'll do whatever you want. I will set up the surgery right now. Jason. No, please, I can't. Wait, wait a minute. How, how long have you known about this? You knew from the beginning the surgery was an option and you didn't tell me. It's too risky. It can turn my condition around. Or make it worse. I, I don't remember a thing about my life. What could be worse? Well, you could, you could go paralyzed or you could, you could go blind. Sam, Jason, or Sam, you could possibly... Sam, I get that you care about me. But this is my life. The risks I take are up to me. I, I need to know. Right now. Are you someone I can trust? Yes. Jason, you can trust me. Well, not if you're going to keep things from me for my own good, Sam. I'm sorry. I did not want you to be hurt, okay? Okay. You know what? You're the one person right now who doesn't make me want to turn and run away. Everybody wants something from me. Sonny does, Alan does, even Emily, okay? If I'm going to stay here, I just, I just need you, please, to be honest with okay. me. Okay, I made a mistake. I want to fix it, please. Oh. Okay, what do, you, what do you know about the surgery? Okay, best case scenario, it'll stop the seizures and blackouts, and it'll restore your memory of the past ten years that you were Jason Morgan. What's the downside? The downside is it could leave you mentally impaired or in a vegetative state. Tony Jones thinks that you should keep taking the medication because you've obviously had fewer blackouts and yes, seizures. It's it's working, I know, Jason. But I don't I don't know who I am. What if the operation kills you? Doesn't scare me. Maybe that's the advantage of losing your past. There's nothing left to be afraid of. If you didn't survive the surgery, I don't think I could go on. I'm not trying to lay a guilt trip on you. Or maybe I am, but the truth is, I was a very different, not very nice person before I met you. you know, I, I did my salvage work and I had a few friends in different ports, kind of just went through the motions of life. And I always had to sort of watch my back and wait to make sure no one would sneak up and slit my throat. And then my baby died, and I fell apart. I hated the world, and you, you brought me back from total despair. I'm, I'm glad I helped. See, Jason, you did more than that. You changed my life. And if you never remember who you were or the love we shared i can live with the loss as long as i know that you are alive and well yeah but if i had the operation and it worked you'd get back the man you love yeah usually i'm a gambler but i'm not willing to risk your life because without you somewhere in this universe, <laughs> my world would go completely dark.
Jason. Jason, look, I, I know you, you don't remember who I am. But my brother, Sonny, he's, he's in serious trouble. I heard about it. I told him, and I'm telling you, I'm not involved. Look, it's not just Sonny, all right? His whole family is in danger. Jason, he has, he has three children. And you're like a second father to Michael and Morgan. What am I supposed to do? Kill anybody Sonny tells me to? Look, if your memory was to come back today, you would realize how important this is to you. How important it is for you to protect those children. Why doesn't Sonny protect him and send him somewhere Sonny's safe? Sonny's life is at stake. What did he do before he hired me? What happens if I was dead? He would hire someone else. All right, That's Jason, what would happen. Jason, Jason, listen to me. You have no connection to him at all right now at the moment that you think. And you've never had a connection with me. But the reality is that Sonny holds you in his highest trust. You have got to protect those children. And I don't know how to take your place. I can't do what you can. My brother will never need me as much as he needs you right now. To make this you know, mean I know how to shoot to kill well, I don't do that anymore. Oh, Sonny! Sonny. Sonny. Sonny's obviously rich enough to protect himself, so he can do that now. I'm not available. Jason. Jason. Vanessa? Would you please give the father a moment alone? Are you okay? Did you have another seizure? No, something's not right. You need to go to the hospital. I'm going to take you to the hospital. I can tell you're... No. I remember holding your baby. She was so still. Perfect. And I remember wondering how I was going to tell you when you woke up because I knew that that she'd be devastated and I, and I remember realizing that after I held your daughter how much you mean to me Tell me how, right? How I held the baby's body. No. I mean, you remember that on your yeah, own. I could, I could picture the baby's tiny head, you know, fitting in the palm of my hand and Her closed eyes. I'm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you lost your child, Sam. And oh, I didn't. I didn't mean to make you cry in this whole. This whole thing. These are happy tears. They're happy tears. So I have been praying. Praying for you to come back to me. And you have. 